boys and girls. Welcome back to another story time with Miss Micah. Well, last time we read what's the last chapter in our book, although we discovered it's far from being the end. And today we're going to go back and pick up where we were before Easter. We're going to go way back to after, um, to after the time of Noah. And we're going to uh, talk about Father Abraham. Maybe we've sung the song in Father Abraham in church. And we've talked about Father Abraham, how God promised him that he would have children that would outnumber all the stars in the sky. Well, that's the story we're going to pick back up with today. Way before Jesus. This is called Son of Laughter from our Jesus Storybook Bible. Years passed and things didn't get any better. People were still just as cruel and mean to one another. They still got sick and died, and God's world was uh, still full of tears. It was never meant to be like this. But God was getting ready to do something about it. He was going to make all the wrong things right, and he was going to do it through a family. Abraham, God said, how many stars are there? God was about to tell his friend a wonderful secret. Mm, let me see, Abraham said, rolling up his sleeves. But have you ever tried counting stars? Then you know how hard it is. Um, 993, 994, 997. Uh-oh, uh, wait, no. One, two. <laughs> of course he kept losing count. Too many, he said. Here's Abraham trying to count all the stars. Guess what, God laughed. I will give you so many children and grandchildren and great-grandchildren, you won't be able to count them either. Abraham couldn't help giggling at such a wonderful idea, but he stopped himself. How could he have a family? <laughs> Don't be silly. He didn't have any children, let alone grandchildren. And he wiped away a tear. Anyway, it was far too late for him to start having babies at his age. He was 99 years old. What could God mean? Abraham, God said, believe me. And then God told Abraham his secret rescue plan. Abraham, I will make your family very big, God promised, until one day your family will come to number more than even all the stars in the sky. Abraham looked up at that dark night sky thick with stars. You will be my special family, my people, and through you, everyone on earth, will be blessed. There's a picture of Abraham. Oh, it was an incredible promise. God was going to rescue the world through Abraham's family. One of his great, great, great grandchildren would be the child, the promised one, the rescuer. Oh, but it's too wonderful, Abraham said. How can it be true? Is anything too good to be true? God asked. Is anything too wonderful for me? So Abraham trusted what God said more than what his eyes could see, and he believed. Now, when Abraham's wife, Sarah, heard God's promise, she just laughed to herself, but it wasn't a happy laugh. It had tears in it. She'd always wanted a baby. Could her dream come true? Could she really have a baby when she was 90 years old? No, of course not. Don't be silly. It was far too late. Sarah didn't believe God could do what he promised. She had forgotten that when God says something, it's as good as done. Of course, it was as easy for God to give her a baby son as it was for him to make all the stars in the sky. Here's a picture of Sarah. Well, sure enough, nine months later, just as God had promised, Sarah gave birth to a baby boy. They named him Isaac, which means son of laughter. And Sarah laughed, but this time it was a glorious, happy laugh. Her dream had come true. God would do as he promised. He would always look after Abraham's family, his special people. And one day, God would send another baby, a baby promised to a girl who didn't even have a husband. But this baby would bring laughter to the whole world. This baby would be everyone's dream come true. And there's Abraham and Sarah and baby Isaac. Oh, we, 
we know who that special baby was, that um, the rescuer. Can you say his name? That's right. His name is Jesus, our rescuer. Oh, I love. If you love Jesus, let me hear you say yay. Oh, great job. Jesus is our special rescuer. I'm so glad that he came to rescue us. Let's pray together. Father, I thank you for every boy and girl that's watching. Father, I thank you for surrounding them with your arms of love. We thank you for Jesus, our great rescuer. And we thank you for your beautiful rescue plan. We love you. Amen. Well, boys and girls, remember that Jesus loves you and Miss Micah loves you.